the 10 o'clock news. Many of us try to be eco-friendly in life, but what about in death? From composting to natural burial to water cremation, even eco-coffins, tonight we explore environmentally friendly burial options. And if I found out, a lot of people are opting to go green when it's their time to go. When we think of burials, we think six feet under in a wooden casket. But now many are opting for a greener way to go. My father used to always say, sweetheart, ain't none of us getting out of here alive. Penwa Thomas has had to deal with immense loss. Her father, a world-class chef, her daughter, the late actress Michelle Thomas, and her husband, Dennis D.T. Thomas, founding member of the iconic R&B group Cool in the Gang. All gone too soon. And it was her job to return them to the dust from which they came. The dust did not come with embalming fluid. That's not the way the Creator sent us here. Instead of spending thousands of dollars on embalming or traditional caskets, families like Penwa can opt for a wicker casket. Some want bamboo or seagrass. There's also the option of woven wool. All biodegradable, environmentally sensitive, eco-friendly. Natural burial is, is very definitely a very growing approach to death care. It's allowing people to become more involved in the care of their own dead and not being farmed out to a third party as much. Vail Cemetery in Parsippany is one of the few cemeteries in the tri-state that reserves space for green burials. This is a way we can preserve the wildness of this space and find ourselves fitting back in with the earth and with God. Perhaps one of the biggest differences between a traditional and non-traditional burial, your loved one won't be surrounded by tombstones for all of eternity. Instead, they'll be in a grassy meadow surrounded by nature and wildlife. You will have the chance to sit, to reflect, and to connect. Natural burial isn't the only option. Here you have a piece of mushroom, and this is, this is really hot. Mushroom caskets are becoming more and more popular. A Dutch inventor has created an organic coffin aimed at those hoping to choose sustainability, even after death. We don't make stuff, we grow stuff. We grow a mushroom-based coffin, and we do it from mycelium, which is the root structure of mushrooms, and upcycled hemp fiber. And together we grow them in a mold, in only seven days into a finished product that within the soil biodegrades in only 45 days. Here in the U.S., Ed Bixby started the Global Green Burial Alliance. You have things like, for, for instance, natural organic reduction. It's, it's like a composting process. It's all mechanical and done within a heated and oxygenated chamber, and it turns the individual into compost in accelerated rate. So essentially what you have left is an enriched soil. Soil that can be used to plant a tree of life or in a memorial garden. Currently, it's only legal in seven states. New Jersey isn't one of them. But there is a bill before the legislature that would make human composting a viable alternative. You have things called aquamation, where you put the human being within a chamber, and they use heat, and the alkaline hydrolysis process liquefies the individual, and then you just have bones that are left. And then they can be uh, cremulated and given to the family. It's what anti-apartheid hero Archbishop Desmond Tutu requested when he died. And then there are these memorial reef balls, large structures placed on the ocean floor that can help replenish the coral lost. One of these reef balls can produce as much as 200 tons of biomass, which would be plant life over a 500 year life expectancy. That's an enormous amount of, of living organisms and living plant life that can remove carbon. So it acts as a carbon sink and it really reverses, you know, what's happening now with the ozone layer and everything else. This is actually set in the bottom of the reef ball and then you can actually put a, a plaque, you know, within one of those eight inch holes if you desire, you know, which would memorialize the person. So if you were a diver, for instance, you could go back and, and visit the site. Traditional or eco-sensitive, this forces a conversation. For Penwa, it's brought her closure. I'm absolutely positively sure that when you die, something more magnificent happens. It's actually sort of honor. It's like you get your stripes and you go another level. I believe that in the heart of my heart of hearts.
And if you are considering an eco burial or you just want some options to present at a funeral home for a loved one, you can check out the Global Green Burial Alliance or the Green Burial Council for more information. It's interesting idea. I do like the idea of keeping it as close to nature as possible. Yeah, you, there are more and more options every day. Yeah, makes sense. Well, you rest in two